Happy Halloween! Welcome to the Lazy Bardcast, a Let's Play mostly D&D podcast where a bunch of friends try their shot at running different campaigns. I'm Josh Yarnell, and I'll be your DM for this special Halloween-themed series, Beware the Warehouse. Playing in our game today, we have... My name's David, and for this Halloween, I'm going to be Captain America. My name is Stephanie, and for this Halloween, I will be a witcher. My name's Cindy, and I'm playing a ghost that's looking for a halo because I'm the Holy Spirit. I like it. Oh my god. <laughs> my name's Kyle, and I'm gonna be a karate guru for this spooky season. Our scene begins on a dark and gloomy Halloween morning. Heavy gray rain clouds loom in the sky as a thick droplet of water forms and begins to fall from the cloud. The camera follows that raindrop as it picks up speed, breaking through the sky, entering into a suburban neighborhood as it splats on a window. A figure can be seen from behind the window looking out onto the street. They give a, a heavy sigh as, uh, as you, Kyle, have been waiting for your friends to pick you up for your planned trip to the town Spectre store. You know, that, um, that spooky, magical establishment that only shows up for a brief time each year around <laughs> Halloween. Oh, yeah, the Spectre also overnight. store. Kyle, if you'd like to describe the um, character we see on the other side of the window. So I've got this black karate gi adjacent thing. Definitely a little homemade. Sleeves are ripped off because who needs those? Um, I've got my nice uh, bathrobe belt. But I just, I feel like it's not really, like it doesn't read karate gi unless I've got a really cool like patch. So I, I need something that just really makes it say karate master. All right. Thinking about your uh, upcoming idea that you're going to search for, that, that uh, emblem that you want for your gi, you hear the sound of like old uh, like pop rock uh, playing as a car pulls up and stops in front of your house. But too loud, like uh, toots on the horn. You see uh, David and Cindy in the car. Uh, they're like, they're like, you know, rocking out in the front seats, having a good time. David and Cindy, if you two would like to describe your character, please. Uh, you see uh, a pretty shredded dude who's also wearing a shredded costume uh, uh, that is red, white, and blue, uh, which doesn't accentuate his body much more than it already shows. Um, <laughs> I see we're going for real accuracy. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Um, uh, I have a uh, Captain America shield um, because I'm dressed as Captain America, but the obvious part that is missing is the face. It's just so plain. And I need to wrong find a, yeah, <laughs> so to it's, face. it's my one downfall. And, um, I just need to find my Chris Evans mask and I'll be just, you know, all set what put together hunk. for Halloween. Great. So I'm in the passenger seat and I have just a, like a big white sheet over me <laughs> that goes down like kind of down my thigh, but I got Spanx on underneath. Ah, of course. So it's it's a little bit too racy for the Holy Spirit, so I really need a halo <laughs> to make it, make them sure that I'm I'm holy, you know? Yeah, I, they wouldn't know otherwise, that's for sure. Um, okay, so great. Uh, Kyle, you rush outside, uh, pile into your car, and you're hit with uh, a wave of, like, juggling guitars and, like, whiny male voices as you open the door. Um, yeah, a rather familiar sound to each one of us, I'm sure. Um, <laughs> Well, with you three situated, uh, you guys be begin to head over to Steph's house as the four of you have entered into the yearly costume contest for the third year in a row, I should add, never winning. But this year, you all are determined to win, to find that key piece of your costume that sets it over the top, incomparable to the other registrants. On our I way. I think we got this this year, guys. Uh, maybe. Uh, on our way, slamming down the street in my old Corolla. Uh, <laughs> 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 With our sweet music pumping, uh, I'm just gonna turn to Cindy and uh, Cindy. Are you are you worried that maybe the you know this rain is gonna affect our you know our potential here? Is it gonna mess up your ghost makeup? Yeah, are you wearing anything under that? Because that's a white sheet and it's raining. Yeah, I'm wearing Spanx and a sports bra, but you know 
You might I, want something else. <laughs> I kind of realized all of a sudden that this is a white sheet and it's raining, and I didn't think of that. So, but do you guys have a jacket or something? Uh, no. Jackets are for the week. I, uh, I kind of pull my jacket up more. <laughs> it's a little cold. <laughs> my heater doesn't work great. <laughs> I'm obviously trying really hard not to shiver. <laughs> Jack jackets are for the week. <laughs> okay, well, I'll just run real fast, I guess. I think... I think we got it though. Last year, I don't. The ninja, I don't think landed. This year, I'm going karate. I think it's gonna land this time. Well, and I think as a whole too, we really bring something to the table that other people won't as a group. You know? Yeah, we've got a. We've really thought it all out. Captain America. Oh, look, we're here. She yeah. <laughs> <laughs> After that short jaunt across town, uh, the the three of you pull up in front of Steph's house. Um, and and I should also say, you guys are probably already like close to an hour late from when you'd said you'd be here. And you give a couple toot suits on your old horn uh and our camera cuts over to steph who's uh in the middle of finishing up her makeup looking into her bathroom mirror steph if you'd like to describe what our camera sees um i fully knew that they were supposed to be here an hour ago and i still was not ready on time <laughs> <laughs> i'm still doing my makeup i'm adding my final touches um trying to make everything look perfect i am dressed as a witcher i have boots on all black outfit black corset um, and I've done some dark makeup, and I have some witchy runes across my forehead to try to hint at it. But I posted it on my Snapchat, and everyone suggested pirate. So <laughs> I really need to find the witcher necklace from the video games, you know, the wolf necklace. Mm -hmm. um, just so people can maybe get the reference that mm. I'm a witcher. Uh, I even have a wooden crossbow, but it's still uh, not coming across to people the right way. Mm -hmm. um, and I did not... have crossbows too. <laughs> <laughs> just want to point that out. <laughs> a new one. Um, and I, I didn't think about the rain. I do have a leather jacket um, with me, and uh, I'm worried about my makeup smearing, so I just throw it over my head and head out to the car. Great. Um, hey, yeah. Steph, Igni, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> it, it's a witcher Ahoy! joke. Ahoy! <laughs> hey, Steph! <laughs> All right, well, you guys pile in. Uh, familiar sound of, you know, like, four years strong or all-time low or someone playing it. Uh, By, you mean five years strong, all-time high? <laughs> yes. Yes, those bands, exactly. But you guys uh, make your way over Perish. to the Spectre store, and as you pull up and park, you see this magical, decorated building with all sorts of pumpkins and cobwebs, and uh, it looks almost like a haunted house from the outside. There's this image of uh, a Grim Reaper with its like hands stretched out above the entrance, like welcoming you or calling you in, uh, and a big orange letters uh, beside it spelling out Spectre. <laughs> uh, well, what time of year is it? Are we like close Halloween to Halloween day? Oh, guys, I really hope that they're not sold out of Chris Evans masks. We waited too long. Is he really the favorite Chris, though? I think you'll be all right. All right, I would just like to know, as you guys head into the store, um, as the uh, uh, automatic sliding doors open and you walk in, you're greeted with a wall of fog. I would like to know the first person to venture in to this store. Definitely me. Captain America always goes first. Fantastic. I walk in, uh, I pull my shield off my back, and I have my leather glove in my other hand that I kind of like scrunch together, and it goes like, <laughs> as I'm walking through the fog. Nice. As uh, David steps into the fog and his figure uh, just disappears for a moment, uh, David, I need you to make a dex save oh, for me. Oh, no. Oh, great. Yeah. 14. 14. Uh, unfortunately, you just fail. Oh. Um, so you accidentally step on, uh, like, an electric sensor pad that was hidden under the fog of the floor, and there's this, like, blow-up Grim Reaper that, like, appears through the fog, <gasps> and there's, like, this electronic, sadistic <laughs> laugh, and uh, you're temporarily frightened. <gasps> and uh, oh. as, your, as your friends walk into the store and the fog kind of recedes around them, they see you, David, kind of cowering in the middle of the store, just or the front of the store, just for the briefest moment. <gasps> Guys, did, did you see that? The fog? Yeah, no, no, the... The fake skeleton? Where are you guys? 
I just kind of sit there Cindy quietly for a minute, trying oh. to compose myself. <laughs> so yeah. Grab your sheet. Flexing my gloves slowly to channel its power. Yeah, yeah, it, it seems to work. And with your friends around you, uh, you know, it was just one of those one of those blow up Halloween decorations meant to scare you. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> it's all right. Please. Can't all be Chris. <laughs> Through the fog, you are greeted with the inside of the Spectre store. Uh, you can see it's kind of busy right now. There's quite a few people in here. Um, and as it is Halloween day, some of the pickings are slim. Uh, there's different sections that are like masks slash headwear. There's one uh, that says like makeup slash jewelry. There's like a clothing and fabric se- section. And then there's like a, a fake weapons and tools section in the store. And then something else that catches your eye is new to this year, there seems to be like a haunted house display inside the spirit store, like one that you might be able to walk through um, for some fun. Sick. So you guys are here in the store. Welcome to Spectre. I start muttering a little quietly. Please don't let them want to go in the house. Please don't let them want to go in the haunted house. Hey, I think house. it'd be really cool if we went through the haunted house after we grabbed what we needed. We should We should totally do that. Yeah, that sounds great. <laughs> I kind of tighten the Velcro on my glove. <laughs> Yeah. Are you just wearing one glove? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Discount price. The other one's hidden by my shield anyway. <laughs> uh, guys, we'll just meet by the haunted house when we're done, yeah? Great. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, sounds great. We'll do that. I'll walk over to the mask section. Uh, okay, uh, well, you see in uh, this year, uh, mm-hmm. what's very popular are superheroes, of course, as the Avenger movies have been blowing up. Uh, there's a lot of like those president masks that people wear to like pretend to be like bank robbers and like uh, plague doctors or uh, you know hazmat hats are really popular this year for obvious reasons. But as you're looking around, doesn't seem to be a Chris Evans mask. Uh, a lot of the Avenger stuff has been sold out. It is pretty popular this year. Thanos took care of me on the rack too. I'm gonna go and try. To- <laughs> I don't know. I never watched in game. <laughs> I just assumed I died. We just lost all of our viewers. Oh, God. <laughs> um, is there a mask that maybe looks kind of like Chris Evans that I could maybe like sharpie some like extra a, fe- fe- generic old white dude? Team. Yeah, yeah, generic white guy. Make make me an investigation check. E. Eighteen. Eighteen. Uh, you know what? You find a Chris Hemsworth mask. Practically the same guy. It, 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 it could very well be, but it could Not also even. be misleading. So it's it's up to you if you want that. It could it could harm your costume more than it helps. All right, I'll could think. Be probably find a plastic one. I'll think about it for a minute, just looking at the mask for a little bit. I go head over <laughs> to the 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 video game section and sift through the various Minecraft and Fortnite costumes, trying to find oh. some kind of Witcher reference. Sure, sure. And if I can't find it there, I'll try to go towards the Netflix special section of Spectre. Okay, um, make me uh, make me an investigation check. For a second, I was like, "Wait, Spectre stores have a video game section? That's <laughs> awesome." I got a natural one. <laughs> natural one. Uh, yeah, you are you kind of go around and you're looking for a video game section and nothing seems to be broken up that way in the store. Uh, Cindy or Kyle, where would you two like to go in the store? Um, I want to go wherever there's headband stuff. Sure. Whether or not it's like the good or the bad or like the angel section or the sexy angel section sure, whatever sure, sure. whatever works i'm um, gonna follow you, him into that actually okay great uh, you, <laughs> you for two, different reasons you two actually uh uh round a corner and, and then see david searching uh in like the superhero mass section and alongside that there are some other uh decorative headbands like spooky ones with like ghosts on them to like keep your hair back and then uh there's like those kinds that you, you put on your head and they have like stars or something on springs that kind of point out. Um, and then you see like lots of devil horns in here, but but no angel wear, no angelic wear this year. It seems to not be that popular right now. You could now. be a dead devil. You could be a deviled egg, just a white sheet with horns. A deviled egg, is that what you said? <laughs> yeah, you're just a white blob with oh, horns. Hey, I'm not oh a deviled egg, okay? That's such god. a good costume. <laughs> oh my god, someone please. So there's nothing angelic over here at all? What are you going for, Cindy? Uh, if there's something that you, you want to try to um, look for to maybe repurpose, if you have something in mind. But... Okay, maybe I can get like a glittery headband. Okay. Or... Something like at least neon. Why don't you make me an investigation check? Okay. 
Oh, not good. Oh, that's an eight. An eight. Um, so you, you kind of grab a headband that you see, like one of the ones with the springs popping off of it, and then you go over to uh, like the fabric section, and you're like, maybe if I get uh, like cut out a piece of fabric, I can put it on top, and, and that might work makeshift. But, but uh, with that, and, and looking, you're feeling like you might run out of time uh, as it's Halloween, and, and preparing something like that, you might not have enough time to finish uh, by tonight. I don't know what to do. Kyle, what should I do? What are you going for? I'm trying to be the Holy Spirit, not just a, like a ghost, because everyone thinks I'm just a ghost with a white sheet. And I want to. Oh, be ho- that's what it was. Yeah, man, that's a costume. <laughs> uh. You could cut holes in your sheet. <gasps> oh, that that's too. a great that idea. Too. Why didn't I think of that before? Uh, I'll kind of shout from across the store. You could also just find some like pipe cleaners, like make a halo. Anyway, I'm looking at mass. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to do both of those things. I'm going to find scissors. Sure. And I'm going to cut holes. You, you want to do all the cutting now, or you just want to get the supplies ready to do later? I'm going to get the supplies, and as soon as I have them in my hand, I'm going to cut at least a hole. Okay. Uh, yes, while you go and find the supplies, uh, Kyle, where would you like to head in the store? So, first, while I'm in the, the headwear accessory-esque area, I'm going to look for any kind of generic ninja or or karate-esque costume sure, sure. that has a headband that okay. I could take from it. Because uh, I'm not buying a headband. Okay, uh, make me an investigation check. Get all the investigations out of the way. 13. Uh, 13, so you find like uh, one of those child ninja costumes and it has like that plastic sword with the ribbon wrapped around. Uh, and there is a, a black headband and like a black shirt. It's just like uh, no, nothing spectacular. And I'm just gonna take it, put it on casually, and then throw the costume underneath the shelf. Okay. Um, <laughs> make me uh, make me a sleight of hand check. Natural one. Natural one. Nice. Um, <laughs> uh, next to you, um, as you're doing that, you see uh, Cindy around the corner, scissors in her hand, and like a couple other like uh, fabric and. Uh, uh, supplies, and she sees you staring at you that you just hid that and stole that out of that package. <laughs> oh my gosh. What? Oh, Cindy, hey. What are you doing? Did you cut a hole in that in the store? Yeah, I got Are you trying scissors. to be cheese? No, I'm not trying to be cheese. But what? I totally just saw what you did. So what? I did what? You cut a hole in your thing in you, the store. You just grabbed a piece of that. You know what? I can't handle this right now. I'm gonna walk away. <laughs> okay. You always do this. <laughs> do what? <laughs> See, as I'm walking away. <laughs> I want to stay in like the toy stores and the other accessories, and I want to see if I can find a pet snake. Yeah, make make me an investigation check in the kind of like uh, stuffed animal decoy uh, creepy crawly yeah. section. Seven. Seven? Get um, out of the way. You see like what appears to be a snake, but it's not menacing at all. It's like that really cheap uh, plastic. Sold. All right. So, each of you, where would you like to go from here? I'm standing in front of the haunted house waiting for everyone else. I'm going to take my Chris Hemsworth mask and take it uh, to the front of the haunted house uh, and meet Steph there as well. Okay. Can't wait to get inside the haunted house, Steph. It looks like a lot of fun. It's my favorite time of year. This is, And it's my favorite store. I literally come here just to hang out sometimes. Yeah, same. I, I love being scared. Um, do you, Look at Cindy. Is she changing her outfit? Is she trying to be cheese now? I think she's trying to figure out the best way to represent the holy part of the ghost. Oh, see, it's just coming off as cheese. (laughs) Is there anything else, Cindy, that you wanted to do or you all want to meet up? I'm just going to cut a couple more holes in my uh, sheet and then go over there. Fantastic. You guys meet in front of the haunted house inside the Spectre store. There is a black curtain that covers a dark entrance to the haunted house. And inside, you guys can see there's a, a strobing light fixture that's kind of blinding the entrance. And then a sign in front of you reads, Test your fear, win a prize. Cindy, uh, you're looking a little Swiss. 
was passing it up. <laughs> I was seriously going to say that. Actually, I'm French. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't really know what you mean, but... Yeah, that's cool. Like, uh, my, my mom's from France. So. Oh, cool. Uh, hey, yeah. hey, Steph, I know you were really excited for this haunted house, uh, and I want you to have the best experience possible, so I just wanted to give you the honor of going first. And I'll go second. All right, and I'm going to, like, try to nudge him, like, pretty hard with my shoulder to go in through the curtain first. I'll kind of spin while you're, like, <laughs> nudging me and then get behind you and put my hands on your shoulder okay, and, like, I'll... peek over your shoulder. <laughs> Start pushing go Steph go in. Okay. Uh, both of you, roll me a d6. I got a one. Three. Steph, like, right away, you guys enter into uh, this graveyard display. It's real foggy on the ground. There's like burial mounds and there's like some fake skeletal hands sticking out of the mud and there's like gravestones. And a hand all of a sudden reaches from a burial mound and attempts to grab your foot. I need you to make a dexterity save. Also, I have my eyes closed. Yeah. And I'm walking with my hands on Steph's shoulders. I'm like, wow, this place is so cool. It's so creepy in here. I rolled an eight. As this... uh actor on the ground grabs your foot uh, now that you can see he like kind of grabs your ankle and shakes it around a little bit and you're terrified you hear uh, you hear some like laughter is, is an actor uh, and then one of the other ones in the room like kind of saw you and they kind of like break character for a moment because it was so funny to watch you like freak out um, at this uh, the skeleton grabbing your foot um, and then as you turn around you look in David's not there oh no and David Almost as if you blinked, uh, Steph's not in front of you. And after a, a short, brief time, you're presented with a hallway. Steph. The further you walk, the walls seem to close in, getting tighter and tighter, blocking the exit. <sighs> Do you want to continue? I'm going to look around and start sprinting. Okay, uh, make me, uh, as you sprint with all your might, make me a strength saving throw. That's a 18. Okay, uh, you just kind of push back running, and as the walls get tighter and tighter, you can feel there's like these inflatable cushions that have been inflating uh, as you walk through the tunnel, and you're kind of pushing them and pushing them, and it freaks you out, and it's a little claustrophobic, but you break free, and then you're on the other side of the haunted house. Oh, I made it. Why doesn't Captain America have a knife? He could just pop those things. <laughs> I just have a shield and a glove. And then as you uh, think that for the moment, Steph walks out as well. Uh, and then you guys both see there's like a tiny little uh, bucket uh, of candy with the sign that says, please take one. Inside, that was fun. Inside the candy basket, there are Tootsie Rolls, candy corn, and caramel apple pops. I'll take a caramel apple pop. I don't see any Reese's. Nope. I'll, I'll unwrap it, put it in my mouth, and then immediately get scared that when I open my mouth, I'm going to lose my teeth. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'll do a caramel apple pop as well. Great. You grab a caramel apple pop. Cindy and Kyle, are you heading into the haunted house? Yeah, I'll go after I guess Dave. So. Great. How about you both make me a D6? Cindy, you first. Four. So you head into the haunted house. Uh, you kind of, oh wow, you kind of make your way, uh, for the listener, David brought out caramel apple pops, so <laughs> we'll just get that out of the way. Uh, Cindy, so you walk through a couple of rooms, um, and it's, it's kind of creepy, you know, you're, you're kind of spooked, but you come to a dead end, and in front of you are two bowls, one uh, that appears to have intestines in it, and the other one with eyeballs. Grass. As you stop, a voice is heard. Can, Can you see the way, way out of here? <laughs> Followed by like a, a brief chuckle and then <laughs> silence. Uh, no, there's no door. There's just <laughs> these bolts. Having worked a haunted house, you are the worst kind of person. <laughs> <laughs> I, and I point to the eyeballs, I see the door over there. Make a perception check. <laughs> this is stupid. <laughs> Dirty twenty. Nice. Um. So when you're when you say I can see the exit over there, uh, you kind of look over and you see where the exit would be. You see like an actor uh, in like a dark uh, costume. You can see his face peeking around, and he goes, "Just, just stick your hands in the eyeball bowl already, and I'll open the door." <laughs> 
Oh my gosh, okay. I stick my hands in the eyeballs. You think it's gonna be gross, and it ends up just being like a bowl of like uh, painted ping pong balls. And they go, okay, woo, great, you did it. And then they um, they open the, like, pull the curtain back. Uh, and then you uh, come out of the haunted house and you are also greeted with your friends sucking on lollipops. Hey guys, uh, that was kind of weird, right? Totally, you want a piece of candy? Hell huh, yeah, what, what do they have? Um, well, I grabbed a caramel pop and they have Tootsie Rolls and something else. I'll get Tootsie Rolls, those are super good. You grab one of those um, fun size Tootsie Rolls. You know, uh, caramel apple pops will last a lot longer. It's more worth the value. It's not okay. As I like, I open my mouth and like pry it off my bottom teeth. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not always about how long it lasts. Sometimes it's just about the flavor. I've never heard that. <laughs> so Kyle, <laughs> what did you roll on your D6? Uh, I got a two and as I walk in, <laughs> uh, I walk past the door guy and I'm like, you're doing great, man. And uh, I kind of like finger bang him as I like walk backwards inside the place. Finger gun him? <laughs> finger bang him. Scissoring all the bullies. <laughs> and that's uh, doing great, man, as I walk in with a false, com false confidence. Oh, great. As I back into it because I don't want to look ahead. Sure. As you turn around, uh, you like pass through this small curtain uh, and you see a figure of a cloaked vampire. Uh, blood appears to drip from the fangs, uh, and you see a bullseye painted over its heart. And then besides you, on a little table, there's three Velcro throwing stakes. Aya! You pick up one, you throw it, make a ranged attack with this Velcro stake. You got the cool one. Seven. It falls so short out of the anger, you pick up another stake. I'll throw the second one. All right, make another ranged attack. Uh, that's better. That's a... 19, math. 19 misses as well. As you throw it, it hits the bullseye, but the not sticky part of the Velcro uh, kind of bounces off, and the vampire's still alive, Kyle. Kick the other one, I'm gonna walk up to him. Okay. <laughs> really frustrated. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not gonna pull pull my punch at all because I'm mad. <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm gonna you, his chest you, multiple times. You, <laughs> you, you drive it in. Uh, and then after that moment of fury and frustration, you look, the stake sticking in the bullseye uh, attached to the Velcro. You turn around and there's like, uh, someone dressed up as a vampire who uh, was probably gonna scare you, but they're like sitting there with their eyes wide and the mouth <laughs> open and go, uh. I'm like, yeah, it sticks now, huh? Go get your candy, I guess, the, the actor says. Uh, and then you feel like you've bested this haunted house or it's bested you, I don't know, but you're done with it. <laughs> Pointing at this guy, and then I'm like, "This way." <laughs> uh, yep, he says. <laughs> okay. Uh, you see your friends outside. Uh, some of them eating candy. Uh, uh, Cindy, did you save your tootsie roll? I don't have any pockets, so no, I just eat it. All right, you eat it. I'm like one one hundredth of my way through my caramel apple pop. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. There was caramel apple pops, tootsie rolls, candy corn. Was there another one? That was it. That was it. I'm gonna take one of the candy corns, toss it over my shoulder. It's like it's like a little bag of like a, a couple of them. In oh yeah, I'm gonna take I'm gonna <laughs> take each one of them. I'm gonna get them out of the bowl, sure, sure, sure. and then I'm gonna grab a titsy pop and I'm gonna walk. Are you a, a or candy roll. corn eater? Roll. Yeah. Why? He doesn't want anyone else to have them so much. Yeah. Better. I make sure that when I turn around, that I at least step on one of those bags of candy corn. Can I try and catch one of the bags? Uh, sure. Make it dexterity. You totally trip. can. I'm not I'm not hurling him. I'm just like Ugh. three. Uh, you like go and as you're like going to catch one, you see the next one he's gonna throw, and you're like, oh wait, I'll get, oh wait, I'll then, and then, I'll, and then you're like trying to decide which one to grab, um, but then they all just kind of fall on your side, and then uh, one of the workers goes, oh great, I guess I'll pick that up, okay. <laughs> These poor kids getting paid minimum wage. Yeah, they're like 16 year old part time <laughs> seasonal workers. <laughs> okay, so I guess we're gonna head out from the store. Okay, so you guys head to the uh, the cash register. Oh yeah, oh we yeah, have we have to, to pay for all yeah, this. You have to buy right. things. Yeah. Yes, you can't just steal them. Can I just make a quick drive by the jewelry section and grab the first silver witchy looking necklace I can find, whether it's actually a witcher necklace or not? Uh, so as you go through the jewelry section, there's a lot of like fake facial piercings and like rings, like those spider rings and a couple other decorative rings, but there's no necklaces. <laughs> While we're waiting in the checkout lines, are there any like Thor keychains that I could maybe use as like a hammer? 
I don't want to go back through the story. Make an so. investigation check, yeah. Like there, those, there's always a bunch of random stuff yeah, or, up front. Dispenser yeah, yeah. or something. Not great. That is a 10. Well, I can't tell you that you don't find a Thor Pez dispenser. Okay. That exists. That's yeah, there. I'll pick that up too. And, uh, oh, shoot, guys. I forgot my wallet at home. Can one of you guys spot me? <laughs> yeah, man, I got you. I'm not getting anything anyway. <laughs> okay, uh, so it is your turn in line, and you see the uh, the clerk... It's like this heavy gothic makeup on this uh, little girl. Uh, her name tag says uh, Bethany. Um, she has like large. Was gonna say that. <laughs> uh, uh, she has like large gauges in her ear, and as well as like a, a septum piercing above like black painted lips, uh, and her hair is like a vibrant green. And as you approach, she goes, uh, "Hi, did you find everything uh, that you were looking for today?" No, but it's okay. Oh, you didn't? Was there something that you were looking for specifically you didn't find? Well, I point to my shredded body. Uh, I'm clearly Captain America, but I could only find a Chris Hemsworth mask. But I'm making it work. Um, Also, at this point, looking at the Pez dispenser, is it like... Thor's hammer Pez dispenser, no, it's or head. is it? It's it, like, it, yeah, like it makes more and sense. It comes out of his okay. neck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. It's not <laughs> the hammer. It's too late. Steph already paid. She goes, "Oh, you know, that's weird that the Captain America masks are sold out. Actually, they're really popular. Oh, let me check my computer. Do you have a moment? Yeah, I could get both. Okay. Can you check for a Witcher necklace as well? Because everyone keeps thinking Witcher. I'm a pirate, and I'd rather be the Witcher. She kind of taps on the computer a little bit. You know, actually, the computer shows that we have some of those uh, masks in stock. Uh, they must be back in the warehouse around back. You know, I, I can't go check, but you're welcome to. Um, I'm pretty busy here. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm, wow. I'm getting... <laughs> it just go more back. I, I'm getting pretty used to these creepy haunted houses. Uh, Steph's a good leader, so... Yeah, you I ditched am. me. <laughs> <laughs> How old is Bethany? Are you asking her or are you trying to gauge? I'm trying to gauge. Uh, like early 20s. Okay. Not a kid. Okay. So, yeah, you're welcome to, to uh, check the warehouse. You know, just bring anything that you find back so I can ring it up. And, you know, actually over there, uh, we have kind of like an old, like an antique section, like an old clearance bin uh, in the warehouse, too, that I don't know if you can find what you're looking for, but you're welcome to dig around. Like, by antiques, or do you mean like those old creepy dolls and stuff? I was speaking more about, like, jewelry. Oh. Oh, cool. Thank you. Like I old clearing stuff, maybe you oh, know, maybe stuff something with a little that looks like the, on it. the Witcher symbol or something. Don't know what you're talking about, but I hope you find it. Th- thanks, Bethany. Uh, thanks, Steph. I grab my stuff off the counter <laughs> and I open up my Pez and start eating it. I appreciate your help. Uh, really kind of you to uh, you know give us the the lowdown. Uh, you know, sure. Uh, do you do you work here all year? You know. Hmm? Uh, no, actually, this place isn't around all year. Oh um, right, right. I knew I knew that. Uh, yeah. Yep. Okay. I'm uh, gonna leave my number on the receipt. Leave <laughs> the counter. Oh, okay. Um, make a uh, as you as you walk away. It's a, it's a, yeah, a yeah, 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 yeah. gauges that works. It's Ma- make I a perception check as you really walk away. Really want to go to a spirit store. Like you were here all year. I, uh, I load my Pez into <laughs> alternating <laughs> flavors, so it's like grape, then orange, then nice. grape, then orange. Nice. That's Whoa. skillful. I roll a seventeen. As you put it down and you leave the register, you kind of look over your shoulder and she noticed instead of like where she takes the receipt and like puts it under the cash, like say the receipts, she pockets this one. Hell yeah. Ooh. Okay, cool. As they walk away, she goes, um, next in line. All right, I'll push past it. <laughs> <laughs> I just kind of drop it on the counter. You know, she kind of, she looks at it and she kind of just gets a bag ready and just dumps it all into the bag and then enters some arbitrary numbers on the computer and tells you your price. What's the number? Forty-two dollars. Forty-two dollars for two cans of colored hair, a fake snake, and that was it. Oh, is that what's in here? Hold on one sec. And she like types on the computer, and she goes, "It's it's a forty-six seventy-five actually." Oh, all together. Ooh, huh? I'll give the money. Great. That's sassy. You give the money, you get the goods. That's how we're working <laughs> buying stuff in this one shot. Um, okay, you get your stuff. And I will slide it off the counter and knock some of the candy off. of 
Or whatever, that's right at the register. Hey, that's my Pez. <laughs> I'll walk away towards this warehouse. I heard about. Yeah, she, she uh, pointed to like a side door uh, on the building that you uh, might not have seen before. Without I'm just waiting on the other it. side of the cash register, just waiting for Great. everyone Same. to finish up. Uh, kind of eating my Pez, I pull my caramel apple pop out of my mouth, and it's like covered in chunks of Pez. Oh, I'm yeah. just like, <laughs> like, you can tell I'm really struggling at this point, but kind of take a breather. He's not quitting. I take a breather and then put it back in. <laughs> it's a workout. As Bethany you says, this all day, huh? as Bethany looks at you in city and she goes out, next customer. Hey, so I have these pipe cleaners and these scissors, but I just, I'm, I'm like halfway through cutting hey, this hey, out. Hey, Bethany, guess what she is? I don't know, like a, like a piece of cheese? Ooh. Not a cheese! <laughs> like a, like a Swiss? You're kind of like a white Swiss? You know what? Just. <laughs> She's French. Just give me a second while I cut these holes. Oh, okay. Um, is this all you're buying? Yeah, it's just, yeah, it's just the the pipe cleaners. Do you guys have um, Spooky Pay I'm on my phone? I take I take it out of my boobs. By the way, I take my phone out of my boobs. Yeah, just from just, the sheets. Just tap like, it. Yeah, <laughs> pull it up. Just find one of the holes that's near your titty. Yeah, yeah. You stick your hand out. through one of the recent I'll holes over in your head. head. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. We do. Just go ahead and tap your Spook card right here. Earn those okay. Spook points. Oh man, you had spook points? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Don't you come here? Easy enough, the transaction's complete. You have your pipe cleaners. Thanks. And I kind of cut the rest of the holes and put the <laughs> scissors on the counter. Not knowing her scissors was gone, she kind of takes them and puts them in a drawer. <laughs> Uh, don't know where I left those. Um, okay. Uh, so you guys uh, now leaving the register are standing in front of the side door out of the Spectre store. All right. Do you mind if we run in there? She said there might be something for the two of us. Yeah, she said grab. we could go in the back room. Sure, I'll meet you there in the a warehouse. second. Okay. I'm going to grab some of the black hair color and I'm just going to like spritz it on the snake and I'm going to kind of like rub it in to make it dirtier and less okay. corny and then rub my hands on my black outfit. Just to try to make it a little less. How about a performance check? I'm okay with that. Uh, 15. Uh, 15. You know, uh, this limited amount of time and this quality black paint, it actually doesn't look too bad. Um, your snake's pretty covered up at first glance. It looks like it might pass. You around the building and see in view uh, a two-story warehouse. Uh, it, it's kind of beat up. It looks pretty old. Uh, maybe not used too much. Uh, there's a few windows on the outside. Uh, and an iron, like, corrugated roll-up door uh, attached to, like, a chain mechanism on the front. Does it seem weird to anyone else that we just got invited to, like, the warehouse of any store, for that matter? Like, I don't know. I those... trust her. I trust her. Is the door shut right now? The door shut. The oh, door see is... if I can roll it up. Uh, okay, make a strength check. 18. 18. Yeah, with, with ease, you pull open the chain door. Uh, the iron door rolls up. You guys are free to make your way inside. Kind of looking in, I'll, uh, are you guys sure we're, like, allowed in here? I mean, Bethany said so, right? Yeah. I guess. I'll pop a few Pez. <laughs> <laughs> it's Halloween. I mean, how much longer is this place going to be here anyway? Yeah, they want to sell as much stuff as they can. True. I'm going to just head on in as they're talking. If you guys find any Pez refills, let me know. You guys walk through the door and enter into the entryway of this warehouse. It has high ceilings. As you can see the, in, the, in the distance a little bit, there's like a lofted second story area. You can see numerous boxes stacked on top of each other. A lot of them have kind of collected dust. You see like an old section of like fake plastic weapons, like, you know, the kind with like the blood that's like inside the weapon already, like for mm -hmm. Halloween. Um, you see like Nerf pistols and uh, other various stuff laid out, just thrown around in this entryway of this warehouse. Uh, and as you all enter in, there's this almost like omnipresent growl that you hear, this like chill that hits each one of you. And this mysterious like groveled voice enters into each of your minds and it says, I know what to seek. And then an image flashes into each of your minds, that exact perfect to your imagination item that you came searching for. Come to me and you shall be rewarded. Guys, I think 
I think all the sugar's going to my head. And then the candelabras that were on the wall ignite this main room. The iron door behind it shuts, seals itself. The lights uh, light up the loft, revealing that area. You can see like old Halloween costumes uh, hidden up above, kind of like organized in a row. And then one by one, candelabras light this hallway leading down the warehouse until there's this, at the end of the hall, like an archway on the wall and like some kind of like hanging sign underneath the arch. Kind of pause for a minute and open up my mask mouth hole a little more so I can fit my caramel apple pop in there. As you uh, take a bite of your caramel apple pop in here, you take one lick and um, you feel a little bit lighter. You guys, the sugar, I've never had a sugar high like this before. (laughs) You kind of pop it into your mouth after saying those words and you begin to float off of the ground. Guys, you gotta try this. I hold my sucker out to someone. <laughs> as soon as you pull it out of your mouth, you drop. Put it back in. Uh, you begin to levitate just a little bit. Can you see anything over the boxes and stuff up there? I can see everything. There's torches on the walls. There's a hallway. We were just in a warehouse. Yeah, why is there a torch? Wait, Did you, you guys got... slip me something? You see this too? I... Yeah. I'm just beelining for one of the, like... Big weapons. Wait a minute. Who even? Sure. Yeah. Who even said like we should go out from un- from there? As you go over to the uh, the stack of fake weapons, they don't have that like fake plastic sheen to them anymore. They look like they are razor sharp. I just grabbed one of the like a, just a staff. Not and, razor sharp. That one. That's fine. <laughs> I'm gonna pull it out, and I'm gonna do the same one flourish that I you've always seen me do because it's the only thing I can do. <laughs> and it's like, ah, oh, it's just it's got some weight to it. And then I'm gonna turn around, and then I'm gonna. You're flying. <laughs> yeah, this is crazy. Uh, I'm gonna look over at the pile of weapons and command myself to fly there. Uh, yes. Uh, you have a fly speed of forty feet while you are sucking on this lollipop for the time that it lasts. I'm going to go over there and looking at the pile of weapons, I'm going to go the one thing Captain America always needed and I'm going to grab one of the Nerf guns. Nice. (laughs) You grab this uh, like little Nerf pistol and for the sake of it, it'll function as a hand crossbow. This is crazy. Does my hand crossbow that I had previously now that I'm in this warehouse look Yeah, you look at the stuff, the items that you guys actually brought in here seem to have taken on a different sheen. Some of like those, uh, like in the Captain America, for example, those like fake padded muscles look like they seem to be part of you now. So I just Um, don't look any different. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, It it, it looks like- Whoa, you look completely different. Where the the, like fabric, like shoulder pads are is like a hardened leathery material. Um, The stuff that you guys brought in here seem to have changed with you. Guys, something's weird. And I pull up my my uh, sheet a little bit. And my spanks are now chainmail. <laughs> Correct. And I'm like, I think this is gonna offer exactly how much protection I need in this world. <laughs> well- <laughs> hey there, Kyle here. Thanks for listening to part one of our series, Beware the Warehouse. Make sure to check back soon for part two. Have a happy and safe Halloween. See you next time on the Lazy Bardcast. <laughs>